something special. I mean, we're in the middle of the city of Sydney. I think we have about 600 people here. And I must say, I was rather impressed. I've written down all the key features and I kind of summarize it for you because it's too many. We're talking now about a battery where you basically plug it onto your wall. The inverter is already in there. The isolator is in there. And basically it really makes the installation much, much easier. This time we're talking obviously about a DC battery, not about AC as the old one. It's actually fully flood proof. There is a battery sitting there in water. You can actually discharge around the 10, 11 kilowatt hours out of the battery. So should you have a blackout and should you have your aircon on, your system will still not blink because you get the whole of house backup. The battery now can be used at minus 20 degrees or 50 degrees. It's actually opening up some areas for installation that weren't available before. Going forward, not available right now, we will be able to buy extension units that do not have the inverter built in. So if you have the inverter, but you want bigger battery capacity because you want to charge your EV more, you can actually buy additional units that are then obviously of a cheaper price point and just plug in. No new commissioning reports and discussion with your energy retailer. You just plug it in and off you go and you've got a bigger battery capacity. Now, interestingly enough, the price point of this new Tesla module with the inverter installed is possibly only about a little bit more than a thousand dollars more than the previous Tesla 2. So guys, overall, I really believe a lot of the headaches that you have when you install batteries or when you're an end customer and you look at batteries have really been resolved. Okay, let me see what the Australian installer environment thinks of this great new product. I mean, I was really, really impressed. Am I kind of over bubbling the champagne or was this really something special? I think it is. I mean, Tesla built a really good battery the first time around and really led, led the industry. And the Powerwall 2 was a great iteration. We've done over a thousand Powerwall 2 installations. A thousand Powerwall installation. This guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. But I think, look, this is another evolution again. Putting the solar inverter in it and with the three MPPTs, I think it's really flexible and it's going to be a fantastic offer. The other big thing is the chemistry. It's a lot safer, lithium ion phosphates. Customers are getting a bit wary about that. They've seen a few bad news stories about battery fires it takes that fire risk almost completely away in the home. I think that's really, really important for homeowners. What was the key advantage? For me, it's the integrated inverter. For, from an install point of view, you've now got one seamless install. You've got, yeah. as they say, one box on the wall. Yeah. So the integrated inverter up to 20 kilowatts of solar is incredible. That, that has to be the best advantage. But I even thought about the environment this time by making the packaging much less. Absolutely. One of the, one of the bugbears for me and my business with the Powerwall 2 has been my bin is full of the black plastic from the power wall too. You get four pieces of black plastic and you've got to throw it into the general waste. So and now we don't do that crap anymore. That's right. And they'll give us, I think, $150 credit. There's two key elements that stuck out for me. One is the cost per kilowatt hour. I think it's remarkably priced when you consider it against all other batteries in the market. Secondly, it was up to 20 kilowatts of solar PV input. Even though you might not be able to utilize all that 20 kilowatts at one time, but you can optimize your east face, your north face, and your western face for a broader production curve and just maximize your energy savings. I think it's the MPVT port. That just saves so much headache, saves costs, and they've brought it in at a price point where you can't buy a Powerwall 2 and a good quality PV string inverter under the price that the Powerwall 3 is out at. You know, we've got customers at the moment that have got existing PV, they're coming and they're buying a Tesla, they're also adding on PV, and we're currently trying to balance two PV inverters and two different systems and all of that. With the three, it's great. You just leave their existing one, AC couple it, bring it a three, add in the extra PV directly into that into that battery and you're all set to go. I think it was pretty impressive actually. They've come up with a lift and air which we can one person installation. That's a big cost saving advantage. I think the fact that they thought of all the packaging and plus their training behind their, their whole product is second to none as well. So they really thought of a complete package. It did look pretty impressive. The fact that they were backing their product the whole way home. The statement was that there was going to be no out of pocket for, for the customer. Once they made the purchase of the battery, that they were covered for those 10 years, not only on the product, but replacement labor as well. It, it takes it deeper than just, here's a product, deal with it, good luck with it. And, and you might be hit with hidden fees down the track, but they're really backing it in. 20 kilowatts of solar directly into the power wall and be able to charge the battery at five kilowatts with powering the house at 10 kilowatts. So great outputs and great inputs. What about the fact that later on they sell you a unit that can actually work with the current full inverter unit 
to then add as an extra battery. I mean, that makes expansion pretty easy too. It does, and, it's, and again, that's a price point thing. Cost is the obstacle with batteries. By them taking all that tech out of another battery, when you're going to buy it, then hopefully it's a couple of thousand dollars cheaper, which makes that less cost prohibitive to customers to purchase. It's going to be a game changer in terms of the product design, flexibility in terms of how people can use the configurations that are available with the oversizing, in terms of how it's all an all inbuilt system, so it's you know not finger pointing and the product's completely controlled by one ecosystem. Um, I think that Tesla have really taken it to the next level and I think it's going to be a real game changer for the Australian market. At this stage, the product's due to be um, arriving in the country sometime during September. We've started taking orders as of this morning and we're expecting a huge fourth quarter in terms of demand. So jump on and get your orders in early. And I mean, the timing is kind of very good also for the New South Wales battery rebate starting in November. So my advice to installers is don't wait till November till you get an order. Make sure you've got some of those units already in stock because I really believe when they looked at the price point for what's on available it's a damn good offer. So one of the more impressive features of all the things that came through is actually the environmental aspect and so Tesla actually now in their packaging has created something that they actually can reuse and you actually get a rebate when you bring it back to Tesla and obviously the installers who had timber crates stacking up forever now you can actually sit those into each other and you can have up, up to nine of them stacked on top of each other in the warehouse, which actually saves, I think, about one third of your warehouse space to actually keep the Teslas. Good innovation. And I mean, really, when it comes to Tesla Power Wall, you guys are the biggest player in the game. <laughs> Marcus, at the end of the day, as long as the overall industry is growing with great products, great service, we're delighted to be part of it. So, yeah. But I think it's also last point. The industry is not really at the moment in the best of times because cost of living pressures. So it's great to see that a product is coming out that really gets everybody excited, that really lifts really the feeling, and that makes installation easier for everybody. So the customer wins, the installer wins, the distributor wins. It's a win, win, win. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.